Do you have a dirty little secret? Welcome to the club. And you're all invited. The first rule of the Dirty Little Secrets Club is tell everyone about the Dirty Little Secrets Club. We're handed out memberships free of charge. Step up to the VIP line and let Dana and Brimstone take you on a weekly ride of secrets and debauchery. Now buckle up, Buttercup, because things are about to get heated on the Dirty Little Secrets Club. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Dirty Little Secrets Club. I'm Dana Pereira. And this is Brimstone. And Brim really tried to sneak one by us. And uh, we're not going to let him because his 50th birthday is upon us. Shut my camera off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Brim, that's amazing. You get to level up. You're at mm. level 50. How does it feel? It sucks, man. It really sucks. But you know no. what I've noticed? You have been like working out. Yeah. You're like getting healthy. Trying. You are you're doing really I'm so excited for you. I'm busting my hump. So when I when I was with you, um, it's funny, when I was with you in California, of course, you know, you know how I am, and I think you're the same way as traveling. You you, you know, I I wind up not using the restroom as often. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like I get so much water weight and mm -hmm. everything's kind of being held on to. Um, and I travel a lot, so it does happen to me often. But, um, and I was, when I saw you, it was like after I was gone for two weeks before that and then out right. in California. Yeah. So I, I came home and I was back at the weight that I was when I had first started trying to lose weight however long ago. So I was like 361 when I got home and um, what do you call it? I mean, you even see it in the videos that we did, even though I, I tried to hide it a little bit when I cut it, I was like, there's no way to hide it. The mask thing, you see my belly jiggling around, but, uh, and if you guys have not seen that, go oh, to what? our social media and go watch it and comment and love it because it is fantastic. And Dana is hilarious in it. Um, that being said, what do you call it? Um, yeah. Uh, this morning I weighed myself and I was, 346. Nice. So, what do you call it? Uh oh, I'm sorry, 336. 336. That's amazing. So, yeah. So I I've been of course I've been doing like a, a crazy calorie deficit, which I shouldn't be doing. But, no, you um, should not. Yeah, and I, remember I, when I made you eat that banana? <laughs> yes. Yes. I've been I <laughs> I've been I've been doing that. Um and and I've been in the gym um as much as I can with with you know the days that I have and then when I'm at home I'm trying to do you know some exercise while I'm there um and then on top of that I got my um my Oculus working so mm -hmm. I've been doing the light the saber beat and stuff oh, like that fun. so I'm trying to just get my heartbeat going again and it's tough guys what do you call it here's the thing is being having been an an athlete for many years, you know, professional wrestling, whether you want to call us athletes or not, we're athletes. You're and, athletes. Um, you know, uh, being able to uh, kind of move like the wind, because it doesn't matter how big I was, I, I moved, you know, I mm -hmm. was quick, even though, you know, my character would move slow when I needed to burst, I burst it. And, um, you know, to, to be at a point where I'm not feeling good about myself um physically you know and then it affects you mentally of course you know mm -hmm. but uh being where i feel like i can't move around as much and my knees hurt or you know like i just i can't go for a walk you know what i mean because the extra weight it's just it's not a good feeling so you know i i just i figured you know what doesn't matter how many times you fall off that horse you got to get back on it and absolutely keep so I'm riding again, hopefully this time into the sunset. We'll see what happens. Um, but you know, I've got a, I've got a, I'm getting older. I need to get back to a decent number. I would be happy at three. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, I would love to be 275 again, which was my wrestling weight, you know, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, now the trainer over at ultimate gym that, that I, I work out at, you know, Moses is he's the Moses of muscle. What do you call it? Uh, is is what he he goes under, and um, you know he's like I could get you down eighty pounds like this, blah blah blah. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know if I can do that schedule. It took a lot for me to come back into the gym because you also got to understand, you know you you know for those of you who suffer with anxiety, I don't have that. I don't suffer with anxiety, but I do suffer with the fact that 
I'm going to what what most would consider a meathead gym. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Where all the guys there, for the most part, are big, muscle bound, you know, guys. Yeah. You know, and um, you know, for me, where I was able to bench that much or lift that much or look much better you know what mm-hmm. i mean going in and having to curl 20s because i have to get my biceps back because i that's can't do part anything of it i'm sure that that is hard and it takes a hit on the ego but that is part thing. of it you have I, to start small and build up that's like how it goes otherwise you're gonna hurt yourself and we can't have any hurt yourself no no not i'm trying to break any hips at 50 you gotta no. save that till 60. <laughs> no 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 i don't want to break it ever um i don't know look so at the end of the day i'm i'm just i'm trying to get a little healthier 50 is coming next week so when this launches um what do you call it is going to be a couple more days and that's mm-hmm. my 50th august 22nd um and my goal is to try to hit um 300 if i can try to hit 300 before the end of the year which i don't think is necessarily uh not i don't think it's not doable i think it's doable but totally we'll but if that's the case i'm coming back to cal to california and we're, we're going to disneyland party we're going to disneyland <laughs> yeah. did you hear about did you hear about uh the, there's just recently uh it was actually at the beginning of this month there was mm. a guy who had gotten a disneyland ticket in 1985 Okay, it was back in 1985. He got it for free on the 30th anniversary. So whoever came to the park that day or during that time period, Uh every like 30th guest had gotten a prize. So it was like, you know, every 30th person, you you get this. So he got a ticket for Disneyland and completely forgot about it. Now, 85 is however many years ago. You're talking about what? 40, 40 years ago? almost 40 years ago. Right. So 40 years ago, he gave it to the daughter and the daughter took it to the park and they honored the ticket. No way. I'm, I'm shocked. And I, because they have done everything in their power to not honor old tickets. You know what I mean? Like, because there was a thing. they. So when you used to go to Disney, you'd be able to go in and buy three or four days. And then if you didn't use two of those four days, you could use it the next time you came, a year, two years, three years. Oh, no, not difference. anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Now it's, it has to be here, and not if it's not consecutive, you yeah. have within you know, a week to use those days. They're like, and, you have to be here between three and seven, and that is the only time we're letting you in the park. <laughs> right. So that being said, I was absolutely stunned by seeing that because I'm like, wow. It must have been so nostalgic for whoever when they saw it, like, wait, hold on a minute, and called their people and like, you got to let this person in. They had balls coming. I, I, that's, I got to believe yeah. that that's the case. And I it was mean, issued by Disney. But I, I like to think that Disney does some honorable things, um, mm-hmm. which in that case, that, that feels honorable. That is great. I like that. Good yeah. job, Disney. Also. I, okay, go ahead. We had a story way back when. Remember the mm-hmm. the couple that um, the woman died from a food allergy that right they here had... on Long Island. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. And she didn't she tell them over and over again. They kept checking the food. Mm-hmm. Like, are you sure that it doesn't have whatever it was, whatever, her, it was. whatever she was allergic right. to in it? And she and... was a doctor. Yes. And she asked over and over and over again, and she continuously asked, and yes, 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 until they're blue in the face. Mm -hmm. And then she went into anaphylactic shock because they they did the wrong. And now I think what you're getting at the whole the whole lawsuit situation. Yeah, it's all Um, over the news right now. Do you want to continue? I'll I'll let you continue because you you started. Yeah, make sure you continue. Well. Now, Disney is trying to get this lawsuit because the husband ended up suing for wrongful death. Right. And Disney is trying to throw out the lawsuit because he signed up for Disney Plus. And in the terms and conditions, when you agree to sign up for the free membership, by the way, the month long trial of Disney Plus. Um, it has something in there about like not arbitrating with uh, Disney. And so now they're trying to get his 
$50,000 lawsuit, which in my opinion 50, is 000. pennies. That's, pe that's pennies bullshit. for that's somebody's bullshit. death. Yeah, that's bullshit. Honestly, $50,000. I thought that it might be $50 million or mm -hmm. you know $500,000 at that very least. Five but million dollars. I definitely thought they were like missing a zero on there. They they must be. They, there must be some mistake in, in whatever we got, but up with you. $50,000, if I was Disney, just for the PR alone, I would have given them three times that. You know what I mean? Just like, here, I am so sorry. Like, I'll pay, we'll pay for everything. Like, Disney can more than afford it. And now, I'm like, that gives me the ick, Disney. Yeah, I'm a little upset about that. I really am a little upset about that. I really feel that they, they should have and could have done something bigger and better for this family um knowing the situation like why would you why would you fight and 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 the the, the audacity the audacity to say oh well you signed up for disney plus uh um however long ago for a trial and blah 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 and that means that we can never you can never go into arbitration with us Oh, go fuck yourselves. Are you go serious? fuck yourself. Now, imagine that every single person that signed up for Disney Plus, because there's a lot of them, um, now they can't sue? Yeah. Like, how does that even make sense? We signed up for your TV platform. We didn't say that shit wasn't going to happen at a park. At a park, right. At a store. Right. At a, Like, no, 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 no. No, that is, Not at all. That is manipulative bullshit. Yeah, no. Bullshit, um, a bullshit, bullshit, a bunch mm -hmm. of bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit. Mm. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. And um more. yeah, and more. And again, honestly, and I, you know, I I I would I'm I'm going to I would like to believe that this is coming from the attorneys, not Disney direct. Because I got to represent gotta that's that's Disney. They know, like, they're going off of what their client wants them to do because they're the attorneys. They're there to serve their client. They are not there to say, like, we want to, you know, like, they're there to serve a client. But but I got to believe that saying something like that would cause so many hundreds of thousands of people mm -hmm. to, to not want to be do anything with Disney they like canceling, you know, like what? Wait, what? You know, like yeah. if God forbid something happens and whatever. Like, I don't Especially know. Especially over fifty thousand dollars, you make that in the first hour that your fucking park is open from waters alone. You know, like it's you are making so much money day after day, and. You can't settle fifty thousand dollars. No, they should have settled it, and they should have they should have settled for a lot more. They should have settled for a lot more. They should have given them a lot more. They should have been like, "I am so sorry. Let us pay for everything." This was our look. It, it's it's not Disney is not the one who did it, but their employees are the ones who did it. So not having the proper employees or the employees following proper pro protocol. Mm -hmm. makes you liable for the stuff that's happening in your theme park. At the end of the day, if I'm walking in, in New York City and I walk by, um, you know, Google, not well, maybe not even Google, if I walk by Facebook, because Facebook is something that I use in Instagram mm -hmm. or whatever, and the Instagram, you know, I'm walking by Instagram and the Instagram logo falls off the building somehow and lands on me, crushing me to death. Uh huh. So since I have an account with where you've clicked, the, I agree the meta, to the terms and conditions. That means that I that nobody should sue because I I was wrongfully killed. No, are you kidding me? That no. you know what kind of bad juju that is. The Ridiculous. That, that is bad juju, and that just makes corporate America look even worse than it already does in so uh, many ways. And so and, many ways. And Disney. Not only do they have the money for it, they should want the good press, especially after that story. Because mm -hmm. I, I personally was like, oh, I don't know. I love Disney, but I don't know how I feel about it. I yeah. mean, you know. Feels money, grubby, hungry, greedy, yucky yep. to me. Yep. Everything. Everything. I was so 
upset when I saw that that had happened because I know um, that there, I like, again, I have friends of mine. Um, what do you call it? My, my older daughter, Samantha, one of her friends who's got a severe peanut allergy. Mm -hmm. I've always been conscious of allergies in the house when they're around and if I'm going out or watching yeah. them, I make sure that every, I've always been like, okay, where we're going, we knew the places to go that had the, you know, like if we were going to take them out to eat, okay, we know that this pizza place, Pat's over here, they do no peanut oil, blah, blah, blah. There's nothing right. in there. We could take her there, but we can't take her to Five Guys because they have the big right. thing of peanuts right in the center and it's in the air. You got to be conscious. So if you're running that's just that kind called of, like yeah. respect and kindness towards others, <laughs> you know, like that's that's just what it is. That's what makes the world go round. And Disney, you're like built off of uh, love and kindness and happiness yeah. and we Mickey Mouse. And now you're like, oh, sorry, you died. It's tainted. It's go fuck in my yourself. Opinion, it's a little tainted. And again, look, I love Disney for what it is, um, not not necessarily for any of this BS. You know what I mean? Like, I, I like Disney for the, the nostalgia. When I'm there, I, I enjoy being, you know, in the ambience of everything that's there you know what i mean yeah. like i yeah it brings me back to childhood it brings me back to my children's childhood i am very comfortable there i love being there by myself i yeah. love being there with danielle just her and i i well, love being there with you know with my kids i i just enjoy being there so yeah. when i get bit by the bug i get but things like this just disturb me because the ridiculous amount of money that people spend there you so know what much. i mean you could yeah. have easily they could have easily taken care of this and it and not it didn't even have to go into the press. Why would you even why well, would you even want this to be in the press? One of the things, though, and I'm glad that you mentioned the press, because there is a, a certain amount of work that you and I do. Even whenever we were prepping for this episode, whenever we were looking at the Disney stuff, I was like, oh, we need three sources saying it was fifty thousand dollars so that we can say that like, was that a mistake in the first one? We don't know because yeah. there is so much disinformation and misinformation out mm -hmm. there right. and people are getting sued over it and i feel like more people need to do their research because we yep. talked about that olympic boxer iman oh, yeah. khalif mm -hmm. who is now she has filed a lawsuit and in it mentions J.K. Rowling, Elon Musk, and more. It didn't name specifically who the more is. Mm -hmm. But remember when everybody lost their minds over it? Like, there's a man beating up a woman. Mm -hmm. No. Which was total bullshit. Right, right. And all they're doing is spewing bullshit and hate. I, you know, I can't. I'm at a point right now where <laughs> 50 years <laughs> nah. on this earth where <laughs> I've seen I've seen so much shit and it's got to be like when my grandparents, you know, like were were coming, you know, getting older and like, you know, and watching me growing up and saying, "What the hell kind of music is that?" You know, uh -huh. or what is this or what is that? And like what I've seen now for decades, you know, 5 decades worth of things changing and you know, people changing and and just the world in such a different. I can't, I can't fathom how much hate is out there in uh. any way. They and people just spew. They don't even read the, what the articles they read headlines, which is you that's know, it. which which is, and that's it. And then they go by that. And how do you? How are you going to sit there and get on a a a, a train of bullshit when you've got? You know, when, when you didn't even read the article, you don't know me. You don't know what's in someone's pants. Oh, you don't know what's. You I know me well. You don't you. know what's in my pants. I well, have you know got to tell testicles. you. That's a different yes. story. We know all about your balls. Know okay. All about my balls. My balls have like. I know. had guests come over, um, this past weekend, and immediately the man that entered my backyard, the first thing he says is like, so what do you guys think about that hermaphrodite that was beating up the women in the Olympics? And, you didn't and I was like, right away? what the fuck are you yeah. talking about? He didn't even 
bother, even after all of the news headlines and ever all of the sources came out and said that it she is a woman, mm -hmm. he didn't even fucking bother. He still was walking around a week later, two weeks later, saying, what about that hermaphrodite? I was like, oh, my, I was so fucking grossed out, pissed off. Me and Joe set him straight immediately. And then he proceeded for the rest of the weekend to say shit that I was like, what the fuck? That's I just, crazy. I fucking Can cannot. I know this person? Yeah, you do. Oh. We'll talk later. <laughs> oh, I got you. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you call it? And, and, you know, and, and Trump might be involved in that lawsuit, too. Well, I mean, he was one of the people that posted a picture of her saying, I will keep men out of women's sports. Well, guess what, motherfucker? She wasn't a man in a woman's sport. She was a woman in a woman's sport. Yeah. So what are you going to do about that? Yeah, that's, I just, I can't. Oh, by the way, j just uh, simply because we're talking about somebody who's in the Olympics, um, I don't know if you realized, but uh, four years from now, the Olympics are going to be in L.A., I do realize and, that, and and also and going? break and break dancing is now done. It's out. So <laughs> Reagan, Reagan killed it for everybody. Oh, so uh, anyway, out back to the other ski. thing. Bye bye yeah. break dancing, which is unfortunate because because <laughs> it's going to be in L.A. Yeah, like it's... if it was in New York and you and, and you didn't have break dancing, that would be sad. But L.A. is like second second. Like what? Are you, what are you, you kidding me? Like yeah. because breakdancing, I'm I'm pretty sure. I correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure originated in New York. Um, the I boys, the b boys do song. not know whether or not that. It, I don't know sure. where breakdancing originated at all. <laughs> I just don't. That's not part oh, of my fun facts. That's not part of your repertoire. <laughs> your repertoire. If that was um, a trivia question, I'd get it wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you call it? Um, crazy news. Did you hear about that dude um, who was a zoologist in Britain and he was messing around with some animals? Um, a lot more oh, than what you would- Are you talking about would... the, the BBC guy? Are we talking about the BBC guy? The guy that also worked with National Geographic at one point? Are we talking Oof. about that guy? Um, yes. I, I'm pretty sure that's the guy. Um, oh, oh, yeah, I heard about him. I'd like 10 minutes alone in a dark alley with this motherfucker. I don't know what he would do to you, though. <laughs> that's scary. See, that's the problem. I like to talk a big game, but in reality, I would see him and I would be like, you're a bad boy and you should <laughs> go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> like this. And get us. Br you can bring me with you. <laughs> you can bring me with you. I'll have I'll have the, the you do the words. I'll do the, the fists. Um, yeah. So this dude who is supposedly a crocodile expert. Uh, apparently admitted to sexually abusing, torturing, and killing dozens of dogs. Um, like I don't. I, I, this is a real depressing episode. I, I didn't didn't realize how depressing this episode. We do actually this occasionally. Was. We really stack the deck against us sometimes. We started out great. <laughs> <laughs> we had some good news and then went right down to this uh yeah yeah just don't worry we'll we'll end on a high note i think yeah, we will. maybe yeah. i don't know I, unless from we what can I see, figure out how to make that depressing too <laughs> from what i see it's real shitty but you know we'll we'll get there um <laughs> so apparently uh he was arrested in 2022 um and then in september he pleaded guilty to a, a plethora of bestiality charges and animal charges, as well as I believe you had told me the possession of child abuse material. He, yes, what? possession like, of child abuse dick. material. Yeah, I like. Mm, I I have to wonder, like, what to do with these people in prison? Because I think that if anybody found out that he fucked dogs and i believe recorded it i i somebody fact check that because i might be making that shit up he but, filmed videos of himself torturing dogs to death and then shared the videos online under pseudonyms okay there we go see so i imagine that um that wouldn't make the other boys in the prison yard very happy no, they all like the little puppies. They like the puppies, and they like the children. <laughs> uh, pedophiles oh, yeah, don't no, no, do no, no, well no. in prison. That no. is a widely known thing. Yeah, and no. he has now abused children 
and dogs? Or actually, it doesn't say that he abused children. It says that he has material of child abuse. So he, what, he was watching it? He was probably watching it. Um... Well, this man is, he says that he has a problem. Like, he's like, I am very aware that I have No shit, you got a problem. Yeah. Fucked Yeah, you're going to prison with your problem Uh... because you are a disgusting piece of shit human being. Yeah. Uh... Oh, let's get off him. Speaking about shit, why don't you tell us (laughs) about the, uh, the other story we got? So this one, if you guys are on Instagram or TikTok or whatever, you know all about influencers, right? Influencers be influencing all the time. But would you, could you possibly be influenced to use your own poop no. as a face mask? No. No. Well. No. Ew. Here is an influencer that is freaking nasty what you're kidding me right her name is deborah she's a brazilian model and influencer who put her poop in like a jar or something and then spread it on her face and swore that it prevented aging now experts have since discredited this theory (laughs) and they're like no girl you're just putting shit on your face. That that does nothing for you. <laughs> did did we did we talk about I don't know if we talked about it on here or if we spoke about it on Within Brim Skin, Alex and I, but um and Danielle, what do you call it? Did you did we speak about the guy who bathes in his own urine? No. Okay, so we that did was not. On, so it's very similar. This was on um and he does it and he does it on TikTok. And does and he think it does something for him? Yeah, he thinks that it 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 and he not only does he bathe himself in it but he drinks it. <laughs> um <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> I don't I don't understand any of that. Like what is like what? people's fascinations with the shit that comes out of their body? I don't know. I don't know. Um I it's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> um uh let me <laughs> see if I can find a guy who bathes in urine. Uh, and drinks. He's like giving himself a, a, a golden bath instead of a golden shower. Yeah. Um. <laughs> like if you like if you actually saw, um, if you actually I'm gonna saw, go take my golden bath. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Here, a teacher who drinks his own urine, which is fermented for up to four years, as well as bathing in it and rubbing it all over his body, claims drinking the pleasant tasting liquid helped him process the grief of losing his mother. What? That is what? now. If that, I'm pretty sure that's the same guy. I could be wrong. Uh, what? I'm but, sorry. What? Yeah, yeah. But if that doesn't scream mommy issues, I don't know what does. Why would you like attribute you doing that to the grief? Like, what the fuck? I'm yeah, th- so confused. Yeah, this is. I'm pretty sure this is him. Um, what do you call it? Uh, Let's see. Teacher drinks his own urine, which is fermented for up to four years, as well as bathing in it and rubbing it all over his body. Um, oh, things are popping up in does front of me. Does he think that it does something good for him? He's a holistic health teacher. Um, and he first drank his own urine in 2012 as he heard that it could amplify, amplify the effects of psychedelic mushrooms. He began drinking it regularly as the form of therapy after his as mother As he was doing away. mushrooms. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, um, I'm seeing a yeah. pattern here. Uh, he thinks that his urine tastes like either bone broth or tea, depending on what he has eaten. And despite his loved ones being grossed out by his ritual, he has continued drinking his urine multiple times a day. So uh, he has a supply of four-year-old urine to drink and even puts fresh urine up his nose, uses it as a moisturizer, and bathes in it. He claims the latter got him spiritually high and he could hear angels singing to people wanting to try urine therapy. He would recommend Was your observing. brain screaming? That yeah. was not yeah. angels yeah. singing. Put a few drops of it under your tongue, he says. Um, yeah, like this is so... You know, this, I mean, pee is bad. Pee is bad enough, especially piss that's been sitting for, for four years, right? And then you're going to tell me that you're you're putting poop all over your face? You're going to get pink eye, you moron. Oh, humans, 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 humans. Why? Why are you like this? 
please stop. Mm. Just please, please stop. I don't even know what else to say. Like what I, ah, oh, humans, the humans are the worst. <laughs> oh, I don't get it, Day. I don't get it. Anyway, uh, that's about all the time we have for this week, guys. We appreciate you so much for tuning in every single week. Apparently, we've been hitting some new highs in certain areas, Day. Great Britain, Australia. Um, where else were we at? Some place in the Caribbean we started hitting. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I, that's listen. We we really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for for you know joining the club. Stay with the club. Uh, you know, keep making sure to do the one rule of the Dirty Little Secrets. Go yes. ahead, day. The first rule of the Dirty Little Secrets Club is to tell everyone about the Dirty Little Secrets Club. That's right. Well, listen, guys. We will see you again, God willing, next week. Mwah. Rate, review, subscribe. I'll let you boy. Promised land You think we want something from you You got another thing